Gemini and or third house cross watchers doing a daily sun possible for more. Devil card in the reverse coming out of some sort of chained theory, chained way of being on your way to the King of Pentacles in the upright. Being situated uh, comfortably in your kingdom. Three of Pentacles in the reverse coming out of some sort of scarcity complex worries of am i gonna uproot am i gonna have to move this this circus to another town or can i stay put comfortably with my fourth house moon card in the upright Someone could be traveling to you. I got this twice already. That's, yeah. Six of Swords in the Upright, Gemini. Okay, got the King of Swords in Reverse. Second time this came out. First time it came out, I think it was all signs reading and inner knowing. Uh, someone knows better. Someone knows that they fucked up. Someone knows that they did you dirty. And I... I'm finding that what goes around comes around, so they're going to really be, despite all their efforts to distract, I think that they're going to want to invest something in you somehow, some way. Could be, could be the major or the minor. Okay, we got like a major person, and then we got that minor person. Queen of Wands is you seeing who's really fucking with you and who's really investing in you. First and foremost, you want to see if you are really fucking with you. You want to see if you are really investing with you. Investing in you. What's this tower card in the upright? We know what the tower card means. Someone was so kind of enthralled subjectively that they lost balance of their day to day. Okay. So, whereas somebody was prepared for this twin flame emotional journey here, the other person wasn't prepared. Okay. So, this tower had to occur. Ugh. Sorry, I don't want to scratch my nose on camera. So, needless to say, whatever energies remained from this fallout, uh, they needed to be played out and expressed and grown and harvested and seeded and they're coming to fruition. The cows are coming home to roost. The chickens are coming home to roost with the empress in reverse. And yet, why is this eight of swords in the upright? Someone's stuck. Someone's not seen. I don't know why my nose is... <clears throat> Someone is not seen. My nose and my palm, man. The palm's good. It means you got money coming to you. Um, Five of Pentacles is out here. This is like a poverty consciousness. This is moving forth in poverty consciousness. Um, somebody wasn't really seeing the level that they were at, Gemini with the Eight of Swords in the upright. They didn't see how they were corroborating factors in this poverty consciousness. They were blind to it. They were expecting and demanding so much, but they were mainly projecting false falsities. Pointing to you when they themselves were were um, main uh, corroborators in this poverty consciousness. It's like someone on food stamps telling you to like get your shit together or something like that. Or like wanting to like get married and have children and you're like, bitch, you're on food stamps. Like what are you talking about? Personal example, uh, need to apply. So yeah, I mean, you know, uh, someone was very withholding and very whatever. Bread crumbing with the Six of Pentacles in reverse here. 
Hence why you didn't see a victory with this person. But um, yeah, maybe they're coming back around. Or maybe they're what they're trying to do if, if they did spend time away from you is they were trying to play the field and see if they could get away with murder. You know, they, they have a lot of people enabling them in their lives. So they probably were trying to keep on looking for someone else that they could kind of get to play their game. But I felt that the buck stopped with you, Gemini. Um, you really had their number from the jump. So, and they know that, and that's why they they have such, like, hatred. They have their love is uh, guided by fear, and that's how you get hatred. Apparently, I don't know, someone on TikTok said that, but, um, makes sense to me. You know, it's like me and my ex, like, I just have a love for the bitch, but, um, you know, she has, like, this hatred and anger towards me, and it's like, well, it's because your love is being directed and guided by fear, and you have this kind of fear within you, so. Um, so, yeah, I just, I just kind of get that sense more so, okay, but I feel as though that, um, they're, they, they're having this contentness with remaining at this level that is familiar to them. Is kind of what I'm getting here. They're, they're spending time with people that are less threatening to them and thus kind of reaffirming their bullshit. And they could be pawning things off, at least relationally. I mean, relation relationship is just a small sector of our lives, but, you know, it, it's something that we do give a lot of interest to. It, they, they could be doing a bang-up job, you know, being very kind of fruitful and creative and productive in their business and their career. Um, and yet at the end of the day, when all things are said and done, uh, they they are kind of uh, sad and alone and empty. So I wouldn't be surprised if some communication came in. I think they're going to try to be as straight with you as possible. They've done a lot of kind of realizing and they want to come out of this heartbreak and this lack of communication with you. So that's what I'm saying. I think they really want something long-term, steady, growing with you and I'm not just trying to kind of gild the lily I'm not trying to put out this false narrative of hope uh, it could be that that person you know the love of your life they're they're kind of um, dead and gone so to speak not literally but you know the old me is dead and gone and having said that the doors may be open for them to come back them they that you think you know in quotes but Really, truly, this could apply to just the kind of divine feminine or masculine bullshit narrative. I don't even really like that narrative title. It, to me, it's just more so sort of like the same energy kind of having come back around and like you're at a different level to be able to see through, you know, to, to what level someone's at in their life, what phase. So if all of this manifests in someone brand new, it's like... There's really no one brand new. It's we, we kind of see each other and where we're at. So, having said that, I think you have your priorities straight. And and if this is a quote unquote new person, even though there's nothing new under the sun, you're gonna be able to see where they're at, and you're gonna be able to see if you want to invest in this person or not. So. But if someone comes back, quote unquote, or if someone comes with some weak shit, then you're going to see it and you're not going to have it because you're just going to, this is, you know, one thing that I will say, um, you know, you, um, you, you won't allow yourself to settle for some, some lower other level shit that you've already outgrown. So there's nothing to worry there is what I'm getting um, you don't have to worry about that in every kind of fiber of your being in every cell uh, in your body you're gonna you're gonna know what's right and what's not you know for those that have kind of 
done the work, but for those that are still kind of just like bullshitting themselves and lying to themselves, then yeah, you probably have something to worry about. About who's coming down the pipeline. So. Um, I'm going to leave it there, Gemini. Uh, let's move over to Cancerian. Oh, there's your boy. Peace.